is the one who preserved who? Is the Egyptian the kuffar or Allah? It is the Egyptian who made surgery for every pharaoh. But look again, whatever Allah says I will do, he, he does it, he uses... Where, where, how, you know, you see, I will go with you. As an example, Allah, he said in the Quran, that Zulqarnayn, he built a dam between the people of Gog and Magog and the human being, correct? Mm -hmm. Okay. Where is this dam? Uh, this will, Allah also said, it will uh, be shown at the uh, end of judgment or something. Where it says like, that, where it says it, that. Where, yeah, where, where, like where, no, 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 this is not, this, no, don't, you see, I, I speak to you as a man, don't talk to me as a kid. <clears throat> Can you show me the reference that Gog and Magog, the dam, is hidden? Is it hidden or something? It's a mountain. Uh, Allah said he, he will uh, reveal them something, right? No, 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 no. Allah one day will let them open. You see, we go back to inshallah. According to, the, to your, your prophet, those people, they keep digging in the wall, which built by Zulqarnayn. Mm -hmm. every day and then when night come they go to sleep second day they come but because they are not saying inshallah all the digging they do in the wall is going to be fixed by the morning because they forgot to say inshallah so one day mm -hmm. the leader of them he will say inshallah tomorrow will continue mm -hmm. and because of that they will be able to open the hole and go through the wall what a nice story do you see how important inshallah is Yes, I do see that. Okay, so now, so the ignorant will say, why you are concentrating, inshallah, because this is a proof that this guy isn't a Muslim. He's a fraud. Mm. So, so those people, they keep doing, and I can show you even the reference from your prophet. So, those people are, exist, supposedly, and they are not even human. They have a weird description, their ears is weird, they're, you know, and each one of them, he will have 1,000 baby compared to a human being. So before he die, each one of them, he will have a 100 child, male child. So he, mm -hmm. 1,000, sorry. So 1,000 child, and now they are behind a dam, mm -hmm. which is between two mountains. If this story is true, that means Islam is true, because this is something nobody knows, correct? Yes, exactly. So, as long as the, 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 the ratio of those people is 1,000 to 1, so if we are 7 billions, they have to be 7 trillions right now. Where are they? Where we can find this dam? This is a fiction story. Stupid story. Maybe Allah is very good, you know, he, to hide them. No, he did not hide them. It is Zulqarnayn who put them between behind the wall. He did not hide them. He just built a dam so they cannot go through it. They are not under, so the, they, they are not under the ground. They are behind a, a wall he built. Can you read the verse where Allah talks about Gog and Magog? Well, yeah, this is a chapter 18, verse number. You can, you can, you can, uh, uh, you know, you can read it from verse number 91, 92, 93, 94. Uh, <clears throat> Dude, you used to be a Muslim or you were born Christian? There's nobody is born a Christian. According to your prophet, I was born as a Muslim. And then, and actually this is true. I was born as a Muslim because my mom, she told me when I used to be a Muslim, I used to do a lot of poo-poo in my diaper, which is the only proof that I was a Muslim at that time, you know? But your prophet, according to your prophet, everyone is born as a Muslim. And then his family... They make him a Jew or a Christian, which is proven again that this is stupid. Why? Do you know why? Mm. Mm. Okay. If everyone is born as a Muslim, and then there is his family, they make him a Jew or a Christian. Then a person who is born as a Muslim, why he leave Islam? His parents are Muslims. <laughs> Stupidity is amazing. So focus with me, my friend. Mm. According to your prophet, those people, they are digging in the wall every day. And mm. your prophet, he claimed that in his time, the people of Gog is coming. You see the first prophet, this is Sahih Muslim. Read carefully. Abu Huraira, the father of the cats, he said, 
Today, the wall, the barrier of Gog and Magog has been opened so much. This is in the time of Muhammad. Mm. Then later he says, Wailun lil Arab. Oh, Arab, horrible things is going to happen to you. Gog and Magog, they open a hole. You see it? Uh, no, I don't see it yet. Okay, okay. read with me carefully. Read with me carefully. You see how we can, we, we got the false prophet? The prophet came to visit me one day. He was frightened. Do you see the word frightened? Mm -hmm. Okay, why is he frightened? Why are you frightened? No, I don't see anything yet. Wait. Okay, what's going to come to your face? No problem. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Came to visit. Uh, wait, wait. I don't see the top. Okay, now I see. Sallallahu alayhi wasallam came to visit me one day. Frightened. This is Zainab talking. Zainab, the wife of Muhammad. Okay. So he came to La me and he was what? He was frightened, correct? Does it say that? Yeah, yeah. Okay. He said, La ilaha illallah. The guy is going crazy. Oh, not only Allah is God. Okay. And then he says, We to the Arab. To who? To the Arab. Because mm. the evil which has been drawn near. Mm. Muhammad, he claimed, he's prophesying that Gog and Magog are coming so near, soon. And he's frightened. And he said, today, an open of this size has made in the barrier, mm. restraining Gog and Magog. And then he made a circle with his thumb, his mm. index finger. And then I asked, he, you know, she asked the messenger of Allah, said to him, shall we perish while still there will be righteous people among us? He said, yes, when wickedness prevails. Wait, wait, let, uh, so he's talking about this is what happen happening now, not will happen tomorrow. This is happening now. I receive news. I'm frightened. He's scared. He's terrified. Does that make him false prophet for you or not? And this is exist in Sahih Muslim and Sahih Al Bukhari. And then it says here in Arabic, agreed upon, mutafiq, yeah. mutafiq alay, which means which mean not a single Muslim don't agree. So he, he says, yes, when wickedness prevails. Yeah, the wickedness, this, they are the wickedness, they are prevailing, they are coming. That's why he's frightened. Why is he frightened? You see, he did not predict the Muslims will be under, under, under the attack of those Gog and Magog. He said the Arab. And he is the Arab too, speaking to the Arab. Why you the Arab? Are we to the Arab? Today. Not next year, not something he saw in the future. This has happened today. Mm. And what happened? A space is open. And remember, Muhammad, he said it clearly that that space will not open until they say, inshallah, which means after that point, there's no return. That's it, the space is open. It's like, you know, you make a hole in the dam and then the whole dam will collapse. You know what I mean? Mm. If you make a point and the water start coming through, the water will push, 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 and that will make it bigger and bigger and bigger. That's it. You cannot fix it. The dam is going to collapse. And Muhammad, he made it clear. But it was just a little hole, right? It doesn't matter. You remember, so, remember the hadith says that this hole will not be open until they say, inshallah. Yeah. Okay. So, then, since then, we have 1400 years ago, and they are opening still. Mm -hmm. <laughs> opening and it's, it's getting closed by Allah. No, it was closed then. If the guy he was frightened. If, if they will come 1400 years after, Muhammad should not be frightened. <laughs> He was frightened because I think it was shown to him for the first time. Our friend, he said, why you the Arab? At that time, the only Muslim was those Arab around him. So Muhammad was predicting carefully, saying that those Arab are going to face the people of Gog and Magog. Mm. Otherwise, there is no need to be frightened. So what do you think about Gog and Magog? It's a joke. Like, it's a lie. 
obviously you you guys have Gog and Magog in Bible too. Well, this is an area. This, those are not really people. Area, so it, it, an area, yeah. an area where you know. So Muhammad, look what what Muhammad he do. Muhammad he take a story from here, a story from there. He add his own spice. Where in the Bible it says that there is people who they are called the people of Gog and Magog, and they are not a human like us, and somebody will build a dam, and then they can't come to us. That is a lie, a lie. and it's just stupid. Because if you build a that dam, if you build a dam, my friend, between two mountains, people, they can go around the mountain. Let us say the mountain is so high. Let us say I, you are behind the Himalaya. How high the Himalaya is? High, very high, correct? Yes. Okay, still you can go around it. You do not need but 1,400 years. The earth is but, not a flat, the earth is not a flat, and there's no mountain can separate two nations. That is a false statement. Okay. This, so, oh, this mountain, this mountain can be separating if it is extremely high and the earth is so flat and the mountain go all the way to the two sides of the earth. You know what I mean? Mm. Let's say the earth is like a table and then the mountain even have to extend out of the table. So they cannot like jump from the round, you know? So mm. this mountain have to be extremely high. And as you see, what uh, Zulkarnain he did, even the name of Zulkarnain is coming from a fiction story about a guy who, you know, he is, he, he you know, uh, he wear a hat, he have two horns, and he is Alexander the Great. This is a fiction story written about a, re a true person Mm -hmm. But now, you know, they make a story about war in Iraq, but it's a fiction story, correct? The war in Iraq is true. The war in Afghanistan is true. But the stories in the movies are fictions. So, Muhammad, he took a story, a fiction story about Alexander the Great, that he went, and this is what happened in his way. Muhammad, he took it, he put it in his Quran as a true story. Mm. Yeah. <coughs> Uh, but you know, as a human, what I can believe about this story is that God is so powerful that no matter how the how long how large the amount of people might be, mm. He has power to hide them. Okay, and, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. You see, if you have the power to hide them, then who who need? You see, the one who did put them behind the branch is not Allah. It is people. People, they asked Al-Qurnayn to build a dam. And he built the dam. As simple as that. It's not Allah who did that. Yes. Okay, so is it Allah who hide them or it is Zulkarnain who put them behind the dam? Zulkarnain. Okay, so why you put Allah in the middle? Because hmm. uh, Prophet Salam said this is one of the <clears throat> major signs of Day of Judgment. Ah, okay. That but, but, God okay. So why Muhammad is terrified? And why, how it's open? Even Jesus Christ will go away with Muslims on top of mountain. Ah, he will and go with Muslims on top of say, mountain? Allah will say, oh hmm. Jesus, today, uh, 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 does Allah call them <coughs> servants? Call or who? creatures? <coughs> hmm? Like, like you know, you know this uh, hadith, right? When hmm. my prophet said Jesus will take Muslims to the mountain, hmm. when Yajuj Majuj will come, can you bring that hadith up, please? Which one say again? Uh, the one about Jesus when he will uh, make dua to Allah, oh Allah, take them away, uh, and Jesus will send one Muslim to go down and check, so he will hmm. go and he will find all of them dead. That's it. So nobody can kill them except Jesus. Why? Even Jesus couldn't kill him. Jesus killed Antichrist, but Allah told him to this these are my creation, nobody can face. Mm -hmm. Go away to that mountain. Hmm. So Gog and Magog they come and then Jesus asked Allah and then Allah he killed them all. Uh, yeah, Jesus and Muslims, they pray together. Ah, they pray together. Uh -huh. So, the stories about the Gog and Magog and their arrows is a lie then, if you're a prophet. 
Mm. Did you bring up that hadith? Yeah, hold on. Okay. Uh, what do you believe happened to my prophet? Like, in your opinion, like obviously he wasn't <coughs> fooling around, you know. Yeah, he wasn't fooling around. <laughs> <laughs> he was serious whatever, whatever he was you're funny your prophet was fooling around all the time he was a joker your prophet he came in a perfect time where nobody to stop him the, the Roman they were fighting the Persian for 300 years and they were exhausted and the, and the Persian they were they are they are dead they lost the war so he came in a perfect time like now let's say Russia and USA they go in war for 300 years at the end of the 300 years, your filthy prophet came. He wasn't falling around. He was just a gang. And it worked. You know? Like if Hitler, he came in a time of Muhammad, he would be the victorious. But Hitler, he started the war in the wrong time. Because those people, they are not too much exhausted. They were able to and gather their forces the, and to take him down. The, the description of Jesus Christ is upon him. Let us, let us uh, not to change uh, the topic. Let's change the topic. Hold on. Yeah, let's see. Okay, oh, let, let's go to this uh, hadith first. Yeah, hold on. I have it in Arabic in front of me, but uh, you know, for us, we need it in English. You don't know Arabic, right? Mm, yeah, I don't know Arabic. <clears throat> okay. Radita Billah Rabbi Billah Islamic, you know, Abi Muhammad and Nabiya. What is that? What are you saying? Oh, this is. Uh, I know what you are something. saying. I know what, but but why you say it in Arabic when you do not know Arabic? I know the meaning of this. Hmm. My prophet said, "Whoever says this three times, will, if he dies, he will go to Jannah." Uh, see how easy to go to Jannah, and it's time you say it three times. So now I say it three times. That's it. No, and if I don't. Why, pray, why I three times? Why, why three times? Why not four? I don't know. I will ask. No, I know because your prophet is stupid. Because this doesn't make sense. If you don't believe in the Trinity, like if I if I am a Christian, I say okay in the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit makes sense. But if you say it three times, you go to heaven. If you say it two, no. Why? I don't know. See. Okay, there are there are some other things which we say hundred times. What about that? If I what? Like we say, Subhanallah, he will be hundred times. Another, another stupid statement. Why? What will make a difference if it's ninety-nine or one hundred? And why repeating a sentence will make any difference anyway? <coughs> because Allah likes a certain amount. Ah, Allah, He likes certain amount. Oh, okay. You see, I, I have tons of reference here, but I cannot find in English. Uh, uh, in, in most of Islamic reference, actually, they claim that Gog and Magog are the Turkish or Dugan. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> if, you, if you cannot find translation, then it's okay. Yeah, hold on. Let us see. You you translate it yourself. Well, let us see this one here. You are Asian, right? Yes. Uh, look at your prophet, he speak about the Asian. Look how faithy he is. You know, the Turkish, the Turkish are Asian, not, not, not the Turkish now, the real Turkish are not a blonde. You know that, right? <clears throat> uh, uh, Turkish are what? The Turkish are not a blonde. The Turkish, the real Turkish, are the Mongolian, the Asian people. Oh, okay. Yeah. After they invade and they occupy the Constantinia and they rape the Roman women, now they have a children who they are very white, blue eyes, green eyes, right? But look what your mm -hmm. prophet he said. Your prophet he predict that the Turkish are the enemy of Islam, and this is what happened. Fighting them will happen before the judgment day, and he warned the Muslim not to fight them unless they fought you. Read carefully. Allah Apostle said, "The hour will not be established until you fight with the Turks." People with small eyes, red faces, and flat noses. Their faces will be like a shield coated with leather. And the hour will not be established until you fight with those people. 
So this is a sign of the judgment day. But the Turkish already long time ago, they are already Muslims. If we go here, Muhammad, he go more rude speaking about the Asian people. He say, the hour will not be established until you fight the Kurd. Sorry, the uh, 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 the Khuz of Kurman. And those are Asian too. And among none of the Arab, <clears throat> there will be red faces, flat, and, and they, they describing them. They have red faces, flat noses, and small eyes, and their faces will look like a flat shield. And their shoes will be here. You see mm. it? Hmm. This is how your prophet described the Asian people. And he claimed that they are evil. That's why you will fight them. <clears throat> Here, he described the Asian as people who have eyes of insect. The hour will not begin enter the fight with the people with the small eyes, wide faces, as if their eyes were the pupils, I'm not saying, I'm saying the word correctly, of the locto, loc, lox, loxos, loxos, lox, loctos, loxtos. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> You know, the, <laughs> you know the insect, yeah, right? I, I can't even say that. Yeah. And as their faces were hammered shield. So your prophet described you and described the Asian eyes as eyes of an insect. Can you believe it? How filthy he is. Wait, let me read it. The hour will not begin until you fight people with small eyes and white faces as if their eyes are the people's uh, pupils of locusts and as if their faces are hammered shields hmm. they will be wearing shoes of hair using leather shields and tying their horses to date palm trees hmm. this is how your prophet he see you and this is how your eyes look like, according to Muhammad. I mean, he's not making fun of them. Oh, he's not? He's just describing what he's shown. So, you're, is the Asian people, they have eyes of this insect? Oh. Is that true? Okay. Oh, oh, I didn't uh, read that. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> That's a good one. Oh my god, that was funny. What's funny? This is funny or disgusting or stupid? It is funny to me. This is how Asian people's eyes look like? This is the oh. prophet who prophesy? Your, eye, your Asian people, their eyes look like this. Oh my god. <laughs> What? That means your eyes, that means the Asian people, their eyes come out of their head. <laughs> the way you brought up their picture was so funny. Well, I, I, I mean, it's your prophet who brought the picture, not me. Oh my God. And not only the size, by the way, and how they are located. This is how the eyes of those, this insect, look at them. How? I mean, maybe... We, we will see some Asian people near the Day of Judgment, their eyes will be like that. Uh, no, 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 hold on, hold on. Some Asian like this, well, uh, Asian is Asian. And there is Asian people, their eyes like this, are you kidding me? I don't know. I, if I live, un live until the Day of Judgment, maybe we'll What see. judgment day? I mean, my friend, listen. He is saying you will, the judgment they will not come until you find you fight people like this, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. And those people they tie up their horses with the palm tree. Asian mm. people now they are taking missiles. They have the fastest speed trains. So if this is, should happen, it should happen long time ago when people are using horses. Do you read what it says here? They are using leather shield and they are tying their sh horses to date palm tree. 
Are they the Japanese? Mm. I saw the, the, the Japanese doing that. Did you go to Japan? I saw every Japanese. He have a donkey and he is tying it to the palm tree. This is a prophet of God? I will ask this hadith with somebody. With somebody what? Like who? Like... Uh, okay. I will and by the way, contact. this is Sahih. You see, this is Sahih. Okay. Hmm. Can you can, can you put yourself in the camera, please? Because I'm suspecting you that you have eyes like this now. I don't have like that. How, prove my, it. Are you saying your prophet my, is a liar? No. Okay, I want to see. I want to see your you you know your shield with is made from leather. I want to see your horse, which is tied to the palm tree in your house, and I want to see your eyes, who look like this insect. Uh, so you, we cannot say that this will happen later in the future. As you see, their horses, their hammer, leather shield. I mean, we are talking now about radar. You know, uh, uh, even Star War already started. You know, they are building station to launch missiles from the space. So what this guy is talking about? So the judgment day will not happen, and this happen. Where are those people? Uh, when do you, when you talk to knowledgeable Muslims, what do they say to you about this hadith? They say the same as you. You are knowledgeable too. You say I don't know. Mm. Mm. In the best scenario, they say, mm, you know, or if you speak to someone super knowledgeable, he will say, but that's it. A brother in the book of the prince, and he said, Why Ethan people describe it way? I will explain to you. My grandfather, he would look like this effect, and actually, I have a mixture of him. His eyes are coming with red. Actually, he has to hold too, and I can prove it. Hmm. When you can gather 10,000 people in one gathering, I will debate you. No, no, actually, he did not say 10,000, he said 2,000. He said, oh. I, if, you, if you can bring 2,000 people with you, I don't know which country, he said, uh, in Bangladesh, in the, I forgot which country, you bring 2,000 people with you, I will debate you. So I will buy 2,000 people a ticket, I will take them with me. And I, I will take only Asian with me, so, 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 he, so, so he will go crazy. I will take the beautiful Asian people. You know, Asian people are beautiful people, what's wrong with them? Look how he described mm -hmm. them. Their eyes suddenly became eyes of an insect. And from all the insect, he could not choose except this insect. I mean, what's wrong with this stupid guy? I mean, he's describing what he was shown. Would he? Okay, uh, so thank you very much. So Allah, he showed him this, right? Yes. Okay, so you are saying to me that Asian people, they have those eyes? Not all Asians. This is some specific. No, he's talking that... about, he's speaking about Asian people, specifically the Turk. The Mongolian, mm. the Korean, so, mm -hmm. uh -huh. those are the heart of Asia. So don't tell me he's not talking about you know the Asian. He's talking about the Asian. The first two pictures were great. Yeah, I will. I will send it to you. Just you know, so you can have fun. <laughs> so this is the prophet of God who we are defending. I mean, uh, okay. Uh, did you did you read this like uh, after my prophet peace be upon him passed away I ibn abbas you know saw him, saw him in a dream where he was collecting the blood of hussein uh, all the, all the, don't, don't mention don't mention those stupid things for me this is isn't it obvious that those all fabricated stories what do we not in the blood this is this is really stupid this is so really stupid